Hey everybody, John from Cheerful Ghost here with a special Let's Play of our first Cheerful Ghost created game, Tale of the White Wyvern. So Tale of the White Wyvern is a text-based, high fantasy, sword and magic adventure mini MMO you can play with your friends. And Travis and I have been working on this game for a while and we're really happy to bring it here to you today. And I'm going to show you uh, how to play, how to create the game, how to play it, and a few of the secrets involved with Tail of the White Wyvern. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. So the first thing you do, um, you need a free Cheerful Ghost account to play. So that's really easy to get, they're free. So once you have that, um, you go to the site, select the game you want, and then you can create your new account. So uh, I'm entering the town of Wormdor, a mysterious hub to the world of Tail of the White Wyvern. You start your day by heading to Forkwood Forest to hone your skills and discover hidden locations. When you're ready to take your skills to the next level, go to Tarbreath's Adventure Training to level up. Unravel the mysteries of the area and eventually you will be ready to defeat the White Wyvern. All right, so the first thing you do is um, put in your name. I'm always Golok. I have been since the 90s, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to be a mage because I love the mage. And um, I am a male, so I will select male as my gender. So you're male. Your family back in old Sphite Harm taught you the secrets to ancient raw power. What you lack in strength, you make up for you with your magical prowess. So let's enter Worm Door. Great. So the first thing that you're going to see is the new day. Um, Tell the White Wyvern has two days, uh, two game days per regular day. Uh, it turns over at noon Pacific and midnight Pacific time, and you get new. If you were dead, you come back to life, um, and you get new forest fights per day. So as you can see, I am a level one mage, starting with 25 player fights and two player fights, and I have mail. So I'm gonna ignore the mail for now and go into the town square. So this is the town square from here. It's like the hub for the entire game. So you from here, you can go where you wanna go. The main game loop of Tale of the White Wyvern is fighting in the forest. You go in the forest, you fight enemies, and you level up. So we're gonna do that. So we go to the forest and uh, we've got 25 fights and we're gonna look for something to fight. Oh, and right away we got really lucky. Um, an old man hits you with a stick and gives me five charms. So I've got five extra charm now. So I'm gonna look for a fight. I have encountered a black rat and we're gonna swing and we killed it. We hit it for nine, we gained 32 gold and one experience. So as you can see, you go to the forest, you find secret stuff and you kill enemies. And I got Mardigan the warrior. So I'm gonna attack him, he hit me for 10. So I'm down to 10, he's down to seven. So I killed him. So one of the things you gotta keep in mind is you can see my hit points are 10 of 20 right now. If I keep going and I don't heal, I will die. Um, death has a pretty bad sting in the game, you get 10. Uh, you you lose 10% of your experience, which really adds up on higher levels, and you lose all the gold that you currently are holding. More on that a little bit later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Helga's Potions and Healing, and you go into the Potion and Healing Shop, and you can heal all possible. It costs 5 gold to heal 1 hit point. So we're going to heal ourselves. That costs 50 gold. And we're going to go back to the forest now that we're all healed up. All right. Uh, the Thief catches me off guard and hits me for 2. I didn't even do any damage, so he did special um, attack there. So I'm going to hit the Thief. I got six and they are dead. I'm at 16 of 20, so I don't think I need healing, so I'm gonna keep going. Attacking a small bear, hit it. Yep, got some experience. We're gonna go and heal really quick. And one thing to keep in mind too, if you're playing on a desktop, is you can use the hotkeys. Just like the old BBS games of yore, you can use hotkeys to control the game. Oh, looks like I got unlucky and an old man hit me with a stick and took away one of my charm. So we're gonna keep going today. Oh, found a pile of 500 gold under a rock. That was pretty good. Stone Tusk Boar caught, caught me off guard, hot me for seven. I'm gonna kill him, got him. Uh, took me down pretty well on hit points, so I am going to heal up. Now one thing to keep in mind over in the forest is if we die, we lose all the gold on hand. So occasionally I like to go back into the town and deposit my money in the Yar Sisters bank. Now when I deposit the gold, it's right there and it's safe so I don't uh, lose it if I die. So from time to time, I recommend that you go into the bank and deposit your gold. So I'm going back to the forest and fighting now. Oh, found a gem. You can randomly find gems uh, in the forest looking around or randomly after a battle with an enemy. So if that happens, I'll show you and uh, what happens there. So I'm going to keep going, healing now. Okay, I found 500 gold under a pile of rock. What I'm gonna do is go back to the bank. I'm gonna withdraw my gold. And one of the things that I wanna do as I get more powerful is upgrade my weapons and armor. So let's look at my stats right now, view my stats. As you can see right now, I've got a tree branch as my weapon that gives me 10 attack strength and I've got 
my armor is a tunic. It gives me the defense strength of one. Well, that's not very good uh, defense strength. The first thing I like to do is upgrade my armor. So I am going to, and I know, go to the Asadi's armor, and I'm going to look and see what I have. So um, I have a tunic right now. You can see it's owned. And I can buy a wool tunic because I have 1,600 gold. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you, you need to sell your armor first. And when you do that, you get half of its value. So I got 100 gold for this. So keep that in mind when you're trying to buy things. You get half the value of your armor. So I'm going to buy the wool tunic for 1,000. And I've got it. So you can look, if I look at my stats, now I have a wool tunic and my defense strength is two. It doubled it from one to two, which is really good uh, in the early levels. You get, of course, way more uh, defense strength later on, but right now it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go back to the forest, fight the wizened old man. As you can see, he missed me with his crux. So the armor is already working a little bit. Oh, look, I randomly made it to the Gray Hood Tavern. That's one of the random things that can happen in the forest. You can find the tavern, so let's go inside. All right, well, as you can see, um, there's uh, a few things to do. You can f talk to people. You can talk to the bartender. What I'm going to do is hang out with Krug. I'll explain a little bit about NPC interactions. So there are three interactions. There are three NPCs in the game you can have interactions with. There's Krug, who's in the tavern. There's uh, Scarlet, who's in the inn. And there's John Boyd, who's in the end. So you can have an interaction with any of these people that you want. So if I go to hang out with Krug, I can wave my arms at Krug. I can poke him, grunt, hand Krug playing cards. He's got special um, responses. Uh, they're kind of funny. Uh, and if you have enough charm, you can go all the way and show Krug and play him a game of Labyrinths and Wyverns and see if he'll play that game with you. So um, waving your arms only takes a couple of charm, but poking Krug takes more charm and grunting at him and continuing through these interactions. So we really wanted to be able to enable sort of interacting with NPCs. And the bonus is the more charm you have and enable these greater and greater interactions, the more bonus experience you get. So I gained five, so I know I have more. So I'm going to try to poke him. And there, it worked. Krug looks at you inquisitively as he scratches himself. Your interaction gains you 20 experience. Remember, Krug's a troll, so not all the interactions with him are going to be, you know, they'll be very troll-like. So um, I hung out with Krug there. And... I'm going to leave it at that. So I'll leave the the tavern. I'll leave it exploring the tavern to you when you play the game. So let's keep going back to the forest. Got a couple more forest fights to do. So Black Rat killed it. Um, Stone Tusk Boar hit me right off the guard. So I'm going to keep going. I'm 16 of 20 hit points, so I don't feel like healing right now. Killed the evil knotted bread. Uh, oh, and there you go. See, sometimes um, the uh, there's a random chance for the enemy you're fighting in the forest to do damage to you first, and sometimes you do damage first if you kill him right away. Awesome. So let's uh, keep going. I'm at 15 of 20, so safely heal. So we're going to keep going. Evil knotted bread. And we'll keep going. Fight the small bear cub, and we are done with forest fights. And if you try to you know, go to the forest and look for something to fight, you're too tired. You don't have any more. So let's go to the bank and I've got enough so I'm going to withdraw it to go to King Frosthelm's weaponry I'm going to sell my tree branch and buy a dirk which is an upgraded weapon and I will deposit the rest of the gold in the bank because you don't want to leave the game with gold in your hand because if someone attacks you and fights you and kills you they'll get it so always bank that gold y'all it's a it's a tip there so um let's look at my Let's look at my experience right now. So what I'm looking at right now is I have 94 experience. Uh, I need 100 to level up today, so I don't quite have enough. I wasn't quite lucky enough. I've got five charm, um, defense strength of two, and attack strength of 13. That was up from 10. So you can see my upgraded weapon did do something. So that was really nice there. So, um, I ke so when you get to 100 experience um, at level one, you can go to Tarbus Adventure Training. And uh, you can question your master and it says you need about six more experience before you can fight me. And when you gain that experience, then you can fight Alder and you can level up to level two. And then your next master will tell you how many experience you need, rinse, repeat until you get to level 12. And then you can take on the white wyvern and kill them. So I really recommend that you all do that. So what I'm going to do is um, do some developer magic <laughs> and I'm going to force a new game day and a new game day um it's usually takes a little bit longer in the uh, regular game uh will happen again like i said at noon 
Pacific time and midnight Pacific time, and that will give you new force fights for the day. So I'm going to force that now. And as you can see, I get new force fights. Uh, also, uh, you make interest from your bank total. So I made 28 gold, get 5% per day. And it's only if you come back, there's no stacking interest. It's only if you experience the new day, do you get it for that day. So if you're gone for 30 days, you don't get 5% compound interest per day. That'd be pretty rad, but, uh, but no. So yeah, it's just a, it's a daily incentive there. So let's head out. And according to Tarbreath, I need six more experience points. Let's go to the, um, I got four more and let's keep going. Uh, wretched soul. And I got three more. So great. Let's heal and go to Tarbreath. And he said, looks like he might be able to beat me. So let's fight him. All right, so I have 23 hit points and Alder has 30. So right now I don't have as quite as many hit points. So let's see if I'm more powerful. I was able to upgrade my weapons right now. I did six, he did seven. It's not looking too good. <laughs> okay, so he's down to four and I'm at five. So I think I'm gonna be able to do this. And bam, I beat him. So I killed Alder every time you kill a master or beat a master, I should say. You don't kill him, you gain uh, stat points. So I gained 15 hit points, permanent hit points, five strength points, and three defense points, and a new magic point as well. So that's pretty cool. So my new uh, master is Korok. Again, you get a new master per level. So I need 299 experience before I can fight them. Um, so that's the daily game loop. You go to the forest, you fight people, collect experience and gold, level up. Once you get to level 12, you can take on the wyvern. A couple other fun things to do in the game. So I went to Tarbus Adventure Training. I'd really recommend visiting the Hall of Honored Adventurers and studying the Tome of Lore in here. You can read about the game, a little bit more about the game. Every time you kill a wyvern, you get a new chapter. So that's something fun to check out there. And also um, at the end. Now, not only can you send mail to people, which is really fun, sort of old BBS style uh, mail, very simple there. But you can also um, go to the inn and you can talk to people. So you can come in here and you can talk to people. Hail adventurers. So it's something you can say there. So that's fun. Uh, and also there's a couple other things you can do. Like I said, you can have interactions with other NPCs here, not just, uh, so there's Krug, the tavern, there's Scarlet at the end, and there's John Boyd. So you can say hi. And if you greet, you get greeter, you get 10 experience. And of course, if you, you know, the higher you get, the, um, the more better your, and one other, um, secret that I want to leave you all with is John Boyd as an NPC has the regular NPC stuff you can do as well. Interactions there, but you can also ask John Boyd to sing. And this is a daily bonus and you ask John Boyd to sing and he gave you three extra force fights. So it's a random chance to get one to three daily extra experience. So at the end of the day, um, I could have actually come here and without taking a new day and uh, got three force fights and definitely have been made it to level up. So that's something you need to make sure that every day you come to the end to do, listen to John Boyd talk because those extra experience points are really, really valuable. So um, there's a lot of other things hidden in Tale of the White Wyvern. I didn't show you everything, but I wanted to show you how a day loop works, how you can level up and give you a few tips for making your first time in Tale of the White Wyvern fun. And remember, Tale of the White Wyvern plays great on the desktop. You can use hotkeys, works great on your phone and your tablet. And you can play it at thewhitewyvern.com. All right, everyone, thank you very much. This is John Dotson with Cheerful Ghost for the let's play of our first created game. So thank you. Talk to you later.